The Arjun MK-1A is India's advanced main battle tank, developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization. It is the latest iteration of the Arjun series. Its primary role is to engage enemy armor and provide heavy firepower in open and rugged terrains. On the other hand, the Challenger 3 is the British Army's latest upgrade to its Challenger series of tanks, developed to maintain the UK's armored capabilities on the modern battlefield. The role of the Challenger 3 is to act as primary armored fighting vehicle, capable of engaging enemy tanks, fortifications, and other hardened targets. And today we will compare these both tanks see the difference between their features, strength and capabilities. India's Arjun MK-1A vs UK's Challenger 3 Talking about the design, the Arjun has a total weight of about 68 tons, making it a heavy tank, the length of the tank, is approximately 10.64 meters, while its width is about 3.93 meters, the height of the tank, stands at 3.03 meters. On the other hand, the Challenger 3 has a weight of around 66 tons, slightly lighter than the Arjun. The dimensions of the Challenger 3 include a length of approximately 8.3 meters excluding the gun, a width of 3.52 meters, and a height of 2.49 meters. The Challenger 3's smaller dimensions and slightly lighter weight make it more maneuverable, especially in environments where space is limited. Talking about the engine and performance, the Arjun is powered by a German-made MTU 838K A501 diesel engine, delivering 1,400 horsepower. This engine provides the necessary power for the Arjun to move efficiently despite its heavy weight of 68 tons. The tank's top speed is 58 km per hour on roads and 40 km per hour on rough terrain. With an operational range of about 500 km, the Arjun MK-1A can cover long distances without requiring frequent refueling, making it suitable for extended missions. In contrast, the Challenger 3 comes equipped with a more powerful 1,500 horsepower engine which enables it to achieve a slightly higher top speed of 60 km per hour. This power helps the Challenger 3, despite its 66-ton weight, to perform well in various terrains. The Challenger 3 also boasts an operational range of approximately 550 km, giving it a bit more endurance over longer distances compared to the Arjun. In terms of engine power and propulsion, the Challenger 3 edges ahead with a more powerful engine and a slightly greater operational range. However, the Arjun is designed to excel in specific conditions, such as desert environments, where its power and mobility are more than sufficient for its intended role. Coming to the armor projection, the Arjun tank is equipped with advanced Kanchan composite armor, which has been developed indigenously by India. This armor is known for its high level of protection, particularly against both kinetic energy penetrators such as tank rounds, and chemical energy threats like anti-tank guided missiles, the Kanchan armor consists of layers of composite material sandwiched between metallic plates, which helps absorb and disperse the energy from incoming rounds. Additionally, the Arjun features explosive reactive armor panels that can reduce the impact of shaped charges and missile warheads. The tank also has an automatic fire detection and suppression system, further enhancing its survivability on the battlefield. It uses a hydropneumatic suspension system, which offers better ride stability and smoothness on rough terrain. On the other hand, the Challenger 3 utilizes Dorchester Level 2 armor, which is an advanced version of the Chobham armor used on previous Challenger models. Dorchester armor is considered one of the toughest and most protective tank armors in the world, providing excellent defense against both kinetic and chemical energy attacks. The Challenger 3's protection is further enhanced by its active protection system, which can detect and intercept incoming missiles or rockets before they strike them. The tank also features improved thermal and night vision systems, ensuring better situational awareness in low visibility conditions. The Challenger 3 uses a Hydroga suspension system, which is known for its reliability and ability to handle the tank's heavy weight across different terrains. While both tanks offer strong protection, the Challenger 3 stands out with its integration of an active protection system, providing an extra layer of defense. The Arjun MK-1A, however, relies on its thick composite armor and ERA to handle multiple types of threats. Talking about the firepower and weapons, the Arjun is designed for India's specific requirements, such as operations in desert and rugged terrains. 
It has a highly accurate 120mm rifled gun that can fire various types of ammunition, including high explosive squash head shells and armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot rounds. One of its key features is its ability to fire thermobaric and programmable ammunition, which gives it an edge in urban warfare and anti personnel operations. In terms of secondary weapons, the Arjun MK1A is equipped with a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun for targeting infantry and light vehicles, and a 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun mounted on the turret for defense against low-flying aircraft and drones. These secondary weapons give the Arjun good close-range defense and anti-aircraft capability. The Challenger 3, on the other hand is armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun which is capable of firing a wide range of NATO standard ammunition. This smoothbore design is more versatile than a rifled gun, allowing the Challenger 3 to use advanced ammunition, such as armor-piercing fin-stabilized rounds and programmable airburst munitions. It also features a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, similar to the Arjun MK1A, for engaging infantry and unarmored vehicles. Additionally, Equipped with a remote-controlled 7.62mm machine gun that can be operated from within the safety of the tank's armored hull, offering better protection to the crew. While both tanks have formidable firepower, the Arjun excels in desert warfare with its highly accurate rifled gun and specialized ammunition, while the Challenger 3 shines in modern, high-intensity conflicts with its smoothbore gun. When comparing the performance of the Arjun MK1A and the Challenger 3 in various terrains and weather conditions, their designs clearly reflect the environments for which they are intended. The Arjun has been specifically designed with the unique requirements of the Indian Army in mind, particularly for operations in desert and rugged terrains. The tank is heavily optimized for use in places like Rajasthan, where the sandy desert and harsh heat require specialized equipment. The Arjun's hydropneumatic suspension system provides excellent ride stability on uneven surfaces, allowing the tank to maintain its mobility and accuracy even in challenging conditions. The tank's engine and cooling systems are adapted to perform reliably in extreme heat, making it well suited for high temperature environments. However, the Arjun's heavier weight can be a disadvantage in wetter or more muddy terrains, where it might struggle with mobility compared to lighter tanks. On the other hand, the Challenger 3 is primarily designed for operations in European terrains, which include forests, plains, and rolling hills, often under wet and cold conditions. Its Hydroga suspension system provides excellent handling on soft, muddy, or uneven ground, giving it an advantage in regions where rain and rough terrain are common. The Challenger 3's suspension and power systems allow it to maintain its mobility in snowy, muddy, or swampy environments where heavier tanks might get bogged down. Additionally, its thermal imaging and night vision capabilities are advanced, making it highly effective in low visibility conditions, such as fog, heavy rain, or at night. So, the Arjun MK1A excels in hot, dry, and rugged environments, while the Challenger 3 is better adapted for cold, wet, and muddy terrains typical of European battlefields. Each tank has been engineered to meet the specific demands of the environments. Coming to the cost, the Arjun MK1A, being an indigenously developed tank, is generally less expensive in terms of production when compared to tanks sourced from foreign manufacturers, the estimated unit cost of the Arjun is around $8 million. On the other hand, the Challenger 3, being an upgrade of the UK's existing Challenger 2, is expected to have a higher unit cost, estimated at around $10 million to $12 million. This is due to its advanced technologies, such as the active protection system, thermal imaging, and the new 120mm smoothbore gun, which add to its cost. The Arjun MK1A generally has a lower initial procurement cost due to domestic production, but its operational costs may rise due to its heavy weight and specific desert use design. The Challenger 3, while more expensive up front, is built with advanced technologies that could lead to higher maintenance and part replacement costs over time. Both tanks represent significant investments for their respective countries. To wrap up, both the Arjun MK1A and Challenger 3 are formidable tanks, each designed to meet the specific needs of their countries. The Arjun MK1A, with its larger size and heavier build, excels in open and rugged terrains, offering powerful firepower and protection. Meanwhile, the Challenger 3, 
being more compact and maneuverable, shines in versatile environments with advanced technology and modern upgrades. Both tanks reflect their nation's priorities and combat requirements. There's no clear winner. Each is a powerhouse in its own right, built to dominate in its intended battlefield. Which tank do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.